see my great friend Steph, who I work with at Dulux, and she's moved into this amazing cottage. And she's asked me around to help her with some colour for her living room, and I'm hoping she's not going to want me to paint because, look, I put my best dress on. Hello! Welcome! Come on in! <laughs> Keep you busy today. Thank you so much for coming round today. This is amazing! Yeah. So tell me what you're doing. So, I could really do with your help. I'm being particularly indecisive about how I can add a little bit more colour into my living room. So, as you know, we moved in a few months ago now mm -hmm. and I really wanted to have at least one room just finished because, you know, we're a busy family and I just wanted to have at least one space that we could just live in. And I've actually done a lot of the legwork for you, so don't oh, worry, you don't have to get good. your full-on overalls on today. I have painted the living room already. So I actually went for this raw cashmere and midnight teal. The reason I went for those is because I've got a lot of things already in my house that I need to work with. It's old, it's got beams, there's a lot of Cotswold stone. And I actually just thought these colours, and particularly the sort of warmer tones of this yeah. midnight teal, would just really bring out the stonework. So what do I you think? I love the feel of these as well, because you've got all of that mm. sensory stuff and, and the feel of the paint, the heritage yeah. paint, is just so beautiful. So I, I'm liking what you've done so far. What about these? You're drawn to the colour, I can I see. You're dying to, the to get in there. I love this as a background, but what's happening here? Well, these colours are lovely, but I just felt like we could do with just injecting a little bit more personality into the room. So I found the most amazing rug. Um, I'm really into red at the moment. I really wanted to inject some of these kind of like warmer um, reds into the scheme and I found this brilliant rug and I absolutely adored it and I just had to have it instantly. And it really picks up some of these colours. So mm -hmm. these are some of the colours that um, I've just picked out so that we can have a little bit of a play. And I thought we could use some of these colours as, as our inspiration points. If everybody understood that if you start a colour scheme with something you love, yeah. it would just naturally evolve. I mean, I'm just looking, I love these plates. I'm, I'm, I'm having plate envy here. I mean, yeah. just this plate gives us the template for a colour scheme that's gorgeous. So you've got the background colour, you've got a feature colour, you've got that pop of yellow. And so working with something you love is absolutely brilliant. I notice a paintbrush there. Are you expecting me to paint? Absolutely. You don't think you're getting this tea for free, do you? And this is, this is the other bit of paint. A cake? Now, yours. excellent, now we have to get to work. So this is the room and here's the rug, here's Steph. Here's the rug. Here's the rug, what do you oh, think? Oh, I love it. I can see why you fell in love with this, it's beautiful. It's great and I yeah. think it just adds a little bit of pattern um, to mm. something that was quite a blank canvas before. So I've got my midnight teal, I've got my yep. raw cashmere on the wall already. Yep. So I think it, it goes quite nicely, don't you? So what are we going to do with these beautiful colours that are inspired yes. by this rug? So um, I've got a couple of little projects that I think I'd like to just add a little bit of personality to the room. So I'm mm -hmm. thinking this TV cabinet. Yep. Bought it as a temporary measure, but I actually quite like the shape of it. So I thought I'd upcycle it, put some new handles on. And I'm thinking DH Slate. What DH do you think? DH Slate. I think beautiful. just a really nice kind of olivey sort yeah. of khaki green. I think that might be quite nice it's on there. It's lovely and it brings the outside in. It's beautiful. So yeah, I no, love that. really I love like that. that. Yeah, so yeah. that I think is absolutely job number one for today. Yeah. And then the other thing I was thinking that I wanted mm -hmm. your opinion on was the uh, this wall here. So yeah. I've, I've got some lovely art, which I'm, I'm really loving, but yeah. I feel like it could just, like there's something else I think I could do with that that just makes it a little bit more interesting. What do you think? There was that colour in the kitchen you showed me called Jenny Wren. Yes, yeah. yes, I that's think, one of my favourites. So rather than creating a feature wall with Jenny Wren or kind mm. of put it why don't you create a, a panel behind those pictures and then maybe do something with that radiator? It does need to go, doesn't it? it does. um, and I think we could, I can't remove the radiator, unfortunately, but I think maybe blend it in. That's a really great idea. Yeah, yeah. Do that into raw yeah. cashmere. Yeah. Great. Just one more thing, Steph. Yes. I'm sorry, that lamp is too blue for this room. Yeah, it does stand out a little bit, doesn't it? But I picked up as a bargain £20 from a charity shop, Ooh. so... But it, it could do with an upcycle. What, what do you have in mind? I'm thinking you love red, so yeah. I think you should probably go full-on Florentine. Oh, yes, I love that. It's such a nice, rich red as well. And perfect. I've got some of that in the cupboard from a leftover job that I did in the other room, so we can use that up on this upcycle. Great idea. Oh, I love this colour so much. I'm really glad I chose this one. These heritage colours are just perfect, for, not just for your house, but because you're so classy. But they're so modern. So even though you they're live really in a, an old house, they're just so modern and it's so you. Very good. I love that you think I'm classy as well. Right, I've got a job for you now. Okay. So we are going to do some measuring. So okay. if you can hold this for me. 
Yeah. I am just going to, I've marked out where I think the um, colour block should go. Okay. So cool. if we can hold it like this, let's check it's level. Mm, that'll do. Right, and then I'm just going to draw a really faint line. Make sure it's straight, Marianne. Otherwise, you won't come back for any more tea. Perfect. Right, next job. Yep. You can take an end of this. We're just going to slowly mark that up. And let's stick. Wonderful. This is my favourite bit, this tip. I love this tip. I tell this tip to everyone. So I'm, I've put my paint on in oh. the same colour as the background and I'm just going to seal that edge because oh. if I don't do that, I'll have those horrible wavy lines when I get the... I need to pull the masking tape off later. Okay, so we have sealed all the edges. Yes, so I think good. next step is I'm just going to get a brush yep. and with our paint colour, I am just going to go around and go around these little pins in the wall because these are not coming out. I'm using the same frames as before, so it makes sense just to paint around those. Oh, that's going to be so satisfying because it's going to cover in one. So, there we go. So, next bit is the rollering. If you can yeah. take that for me. Take that. Let's get some of this lovely colour on. This is my, always my favourite part. Ready? Yep. We're going back now. Ooh, careful of that. Careful, page. careful. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? That is lovely. That is going to cover in one. That it is. is. so nice. And I think it's just going to do a really good job of those pictures as well, just framing them a little bit more. OK, so this is looking like it's drying quite nicely. Yeah. What do you think of the colour? It's yeah, looking good, lovely. isn't it? That's great. Right, on to the next job. Radiator. Radiator. Oh. So we're going to paint this in the same colour as the yep. wall. So we've got some raw cashmere here ready, but I'm going to give you some work to do now, seeing as I've obviously done the lion's <laughs> share so far. Um, if you can give it a little sand, that would be great. <laughs> Sorry, you've worn your best clothes. Just a really light sand. I think we'll be fine. OK, so we've got everything sanded and brushed. Um, are you all right with the paintbrush? And I'll get on with the roller. Absolutely. Lovely. Let's do it. Good job it's the same colour as my dress, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching out for bits you've missed. Give you some marks out of ten. Right, now for the good bit. I know, I think you're dying to do <laughs> this, know. aren't you? So go on then, I'll let you do it, seeing as you've been such a good help today. <gasps> Look, Look that, that is line. the best thing about... Yeah, it better be good all the way up now. It's going to be good all the way up. Oh, Steph. What do you think of the colour? Gorgeous. Looking good, isn't Gorgeous. it? Gorgeous. Yeah, I'm really loving that. Jenny Wren. Look at that. It's kind of almost better than chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be silly. Yeah. Okay, right. let's pop the pictures up. You do that one. Oh, yes. There we go. Yes. And last one. Okay. Nice. What do you think? Beautiful. Love it. OK, I'm going to get on with this cabinet if you're OK doing the lamp base. I'm on it, Steph. Brilliant. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much for your help today. Just look at how much we've managed to do in just one day. I know, what Done. a difference a day makes, especially with a friend who knows what she's doing. Especially with a friend. I love this, Steph. You know that little panel there that just stops the room from feeling so square? It's just this lovely punctuation in the corner. I'm loving my decision about the red. 
of course. There, uh, of I course. do think it was a good decision, if I do say so for myself. <laughs> no, I think it's all looking brilliant, yeah. and I particularly love the cabinet because yeah. that was just a second-hand cheap find and what a difference that colour yeah. and just some handles have yeah, made to that it cabinet. It's so. really premium. Thank you. Well, I think it's time for another cup of tea, don't you? Got any more cake? I'm sure I can find you some more cake. Let's get some tea.